Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Physics Fun. So in this video, we are going to understand a very, very important concept that is related to silvering of lens. So I have taken a problem here. The problem recently appeared in LNS RG test and many of these students who are expected to get a very good rank, they also made mistake in this. So let us straight away read the question and understand the concept. And we will also see that what is the point where mistakes happen commonly. So there's a parallel beam of light. This is a parallel beam of light. It is parallel to the optical axis. It falls on one face of convex lens, focal length F. And there are two internal reflexes. Let us see, so this is the light ray and it refracts, then internally reflect. Here also it reflect and it emerges from the second face and forms a real image. So from here it emerges and then finally it forms a real image here. Refractive index of the material is 1.5. Distance of the image from the lenses f by n, we have to find out n, right? So to understand this or to solve this question in a very simple manner, see normally, how do you solve this question? You can consider one uh, refraction here, curved ref refraction, you can apply that mu2 by v minus p1 by u formula. And then here you can assume this as a, this is a concave mirror basically. So you can use mirror formula, another time mirror formula and another time refraction formula. Right, but that is going to be very lengthy. But if you do it properly and if you don't mess up anywhere in sign convention and all, definitely you're going to get the answer. But we can use this concept, which I think all of you know, to solve this problem. Right. And there's a critical point that we have to understand so that we don't make mistake. So in this, what happens? This is a lens and this surface is silvered. So how do we understand what is happening actually here? If this is the object light rays are going here, then refraction, reflection, and refraction, right? But this we can understand like this. We can imagine that there is a, a separate mirror of same radius of curvature, and there's a very thin air gap in between. So that the deviation caused by this surface from refraction is canceled when the rays are coming back, fine? So in this case, if you see, then this is the object, the lens is used once, the entire lens is used, right? When I say lens is used, that means both the surfaces are refracting. So this surface is first refracting or causing deviation, then this surface is causing deviation. So lens is used once, then reflection happens. Then again, this light ray is entering here, leaving here, right? So when it is entering here, leaving here, or vice versa, we will say that lens is used once. Or you can understand that from this surface, half of the power is used, right? So two times refraction, P by two, P by two, P by two, P by two. So two PL plus PM. Mirror is used only once, fine. That is how you solve the questions, right? And finally here, this comes out to be a mirror because light rays are returning back along the same side. So they came here, came from this direction and they're returning in this direction. So that is why this is a mirror, right? So let us now see this one. So here, how do we model this? See, and then we can solve just in two lines. Here, the light rays are coming like this. And then the refraction happens. Another refraction happens. So lens is used once, PL, right? Then this is the mirror, PM. Then after that, light rays will reflect. And again, both the surfaces are used, PL again. And here again now, this is a mirror because there are two internal reflections. So this is the mirror, again PM. Now once more, after reflection, these light rays are going. So once more PL, right? So how many times lens is used? Three times, three PL plus two M, two PM. And then power of lens is one upon F, so three by F. Power of mirror here is going to be, see in this, since here focal length is F and this is 1.5. So one by F is equal to, 3 by 2 minus 1 and 1 by r minus of minus 1 by r. So basically f is equal to r. This is a very small result. You can remember most of the questions, you will see that this data is given. Mu equal to 1 by 1.5, equiconvex lens, then focal length is equal to r. So here now, since focal length is equal to r, power of the mirror is minus 1 upon f. So minus 1 upon f. f is how much? Focal length is how much? f by 2, right? r by 2. So here, R is radius of curvature is F, just now we have found. So R by two minus, power, this is a concave mirror, both places. So 
minus f by 2 minus minus becomes plus and you get f prime as f by 7. So the answer here is what? n is equal to 7, right? So if you understand properly the concept behind silvering of lens, then you can solve all these questions very easily. Otherwise, imagine that one more reflection is given. It says that instead of two, there are three internal reflections, then it becomes a very lengthy question. If you solve it this way, then it becomes a very easy question. Right? You can solve it just in two, three lines. So that's it. If you have liked this video, then if you have learned something, then like this video and please share with your friends and other students also. And please subscribe to this channel also. Right. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. We'll meet again. Thank you.